Welcome everybody to the Draft Brian Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and on this episode, we're going to take a look at Vanderbilt tight end Jared Pinkney. Uh, he's one of the top tight ends in this 2020 uh, draft class. He's a redshirt senior. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to take a look at a handful of plays from this Notre Dame game to kind of illustrate the different types of traits that Pinkney has as a prospect and then kind of look to see where he uh, projects to the NFL draft um, and how he could do in the NFL when it comes to it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at some of these plays. All right, one of the first thing, one of the things that I look for when evaluating tight ends is their their burst, their quickness, that agility. You know, it's nice to have a tight end like Vernon Davis who's able to just speed down the field running a four three forty. But in all reality, in today's NFL, if you have some burst at the stem, you can make a quick move to get that separation, you're going to win. And in this case, we see that right here. Pinkney is lined up as the inline tight end, and he's going to make a quick move here to get off the line. So as we see this, hey, he's able to make this quick move, then burst forward, hey, get into the uh, play, get a little bit of power, and get the touchdown. And we see it from here. Look at this quick move. Just one step, and he bursts forward. He's able to just get off that release, make a quick move. He's into the uh, the back, the secondary, able to make a hands catch, and then showed some power to get into the end zone. That ability to show this quickness is a big part of why he was able to win on this play and get basically untouched out into his route. You know, Pinkney has good speed uh, for the most part, uh, good burst in that. And because he has those traits and because he's a you know got the size to win downfield, he will draw some attention. And that's the case on this play right here. Once again, he's in line. He's just going to run a seam route, you know, release quick, run a seam route down the field. And because of his, you know, he's their best receiver, he's going to draw all this attention. So, so you see right here, Quick move upfield, going down the seam. The ball's not going to come to him, but look at all these defenders that are around him. Okay? Allows this guy to get open, make the catch. And we're going to see a different camera view of this um, that kind of shows the attention that he that he grabs. So he's look, he's right here, gets a quick move upfield. This cornerback, he's paying attention to him. Okay? He sells the route that he's going to go in, but... Look at all that attention that's going towards Pinkney because he has these traits, because he's got the speed to push the seam, because he can go up and make those catches, he's able to draw that attention. Pinkney also uses a lot of the, these traits in his route running ability that allows him to, to get open. In this case, he's going to be right here. He's kind of a um, detached inline receiver. And he's going to run a hook route, and as we see here, He's able to uh, push up field. Okay, it looks like he's going to maybe try and run deep, maybe run down the hashes. Okay, instead, he's able to put a foot down quick and come back. And he did, the ball didn't get thrown to him, but as we see here, he's got a little new. You know, he's pushing deep. He sets up that route. He's open. He if the quarterback would have looked at him, he was open to make that catch because he was able to you know push deep and make that quick turnaround to come back on the hook route. Because Pinkney has those traits and, and he, he's quick and he's fast off the line, he also has a little bit of nuance to his route running game and he's able to kind of maybe sneak out on different routes. And we're gonna see that here in line. Uh, they're gonna run some action, a uh, fly sweep. He's gonna be able to come off kind of like he was gonna block and then sneak out into this flat. So as we see here, kind of acts like he's gonna block for, for a second, sneaks out, finds the open area and is able to make that catch. So we see here, okay, kind of, you know, it's subtle, comes out like he's going to block. They see this action. They see him kind of coming off slow like he's going to try and pick up this this uh, linebacker. That's Drew Tranquil. That's Drew Tranquil. And he just slips right past him right, for an easy first down. All right, on this play, we're going to see once again kind of his route running ability, the speed, and then even his hands. Um, he's right, you know, kind of an inline tight end, but standing up. He's going to run basically a post route, beating Drew Tranquil, the uh, you know the star linebacker for Notre Dame. 
and he's just going to run. He's going to run at him, okay, make some contact, and then just be able to make a quick move inside to find that open area and get this long catch. We watch it again right here. He's able to make that contact okay, at the stem and then just make that quick move inside, get a little separation, and make the catch. Here's another example of Pinkney's ability to kind of stretch the field. I wouldn't say he's a burner. I don't think he's going to be running a 4-4 or anything like that. To me, he's probably like a 4-5, 4-6, which, you know, for a tight end, that's still good speed. Um, he's able, he's going to push down the field, and as we see here, okay, he's going to push down, okay, hesitate, and then run past the linebacker, high point the ball to come down with the catch. If we watch it again, okay, pushes at that linebacker, kind of hesitates, and then is able to run past him, and then he's able to go up, high point the ball in traffic. He's got a defender right there. Okay, go up get the ball above his head, secure it, and put his team in a position to score a touchdown. I'm a big fan of that play. It really showcases his athleticism that he's able to jump up, catch the ball, come down with it. Uh, big time play there for him. Lastly, you know, Jared Pinkney is, uh, I wouldn't say he's a great blocker, but he's got the ability to use his frame well to shield off and occupy defenders. On this case, he's going to sprint across the field on a kind of a trappish type block, but he's able to seal off the edge and allow his running back to uh, to get to the corner. So as we see here, it comes across the formation, engages, and then seals off. And it's not this big, powerful block. He's not driving him to the ground, but he's able to engage with him enough, lock him up. His running back gets to the outside and is able to get a first down on, on first and ten. So as we see here, once again, comes across, engages, and then positions his body to seal off this defender. He doesn't have to lock him up for long, but he knows how to use his body effectively. And that's the thing about Pinkney is, you know, he's got the, the skill set and the framework to be a solid blocker, and that's definitely going to help him going forward. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the uh, Draft Brian Film Room. Uh, make sure to subscribe here uh, to get all of my latest videos, whether it's the film rooms, whether it's you know news reports or opinion pieces. Uh, make sure you subscribe there. Make sure you follow me at draft underscore Brian on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time.